Robert with uh, Kids and Sales Coach here. And as promised, here is our uh, competition video number two. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to talk about the current brouhaha in our industry about import versus American uh, manufacturers in a, in a broader sense. I have no interest in um, either. Um, Consult with both um, individual dealers, etc. Uh, just an overall strategy, and I want to I want to make sure I'm clear about something. Tariffs are one thing, because tariffs are a way of balancing out the scale. Um, it, it, again, I'm being broad based, but if China charges us X percentage for our imported beef we charge them X percent for something that they export to us. Um, and, and that balances the scale. We're not talking about tariffs. What we're talking about is the WTO doing dumping and transshipment um, to avoid the tariffs. Transshipment means China ships to Malaysia or Vietnam, and then they ship it over here to avoid tariffs. That, those are the kind of things we're talking about. Um, or anti-dumping. Uh, we had at the earlier of this month, we had three major manufacturers get out of the KCMA, Kitchen Cabinet Manufacturers Association, over KCMA scans on this. Um, if anybody from KCMA, if anybody from Master Brands or any of the other want to enlighten me or clarify their position, I'm happy to have that discussion. This is a more broad-based discussion about what are you worried about? If China and their associates want to lose money, let them. If they want to provide crap, let them. 20, 25 years ago, those of you in the industry, you remember the time at KBiz when they had this little China section and uh, all, all these, how many containers you want? How many containers you want? You know, and it was garbage. No one cared. I mean, it, 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 now it was used for apartments and stuff like that because it was easily available. Um, I'm refraining from using company names. So now that China's manufacturing sector, like all developing countries, as their middle class grows, number one, they're more money because they have to charge more. The Chinese government is taking more on their semi-capitalism model. They're taking more from the manufacturers. We have the Trump tariffs, which are still in, in effect. You know, we, we have all these things putting pressure on, on that market segment. So what are you worried about American manufacturers? That, and I'm probably, I'm talking about the entry-level manufacturers. You know, the big guys, all that. Um, what are you worried about? How about changing the way you do business instead of, the typical dealer uh, manufacturing relationship, come up with ways to change it. Incentivize your dealers not to carry that stuff. Incentivize your dealers to uh, learn how to sell around it without denigrating it, you know? Um, incentivize your dealers with, with perks um, beyond what you know on the norm, right? So only the big dealers can qualify. And send them on the little guys so they can become bigger guys. And then they can become big guys. Big guys meaning volume, right? Small, medium, large volume dealers. Instead of, well, he only does $50,000 a year, so we're really not going to give him much. Flip the switch. Right? And you and, and you manufacturers in America know that um, if you uh, mess up 
on an imported cabinet order and you don't have sufficient inventory, guess what? Your customer's waiting three months. Well, that's, that's just stupid. So work around it. There's many, many ways other than whining to the WTO. American manufacturers should not whine. Period. Be better. You are better. There are a million people out there that can help you be better. Again, if anybody wants to message me from Master Brand or whatever the other brands are, KCMA, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm Kitchen Sales Coach. You know where to find me. I'm happy to have a discussion. And you can enlighten me more as to why your whining is justified. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. I just... I just think that there's many, many ways. And you go back to my yesterday's video on competition, you kind of know where I stand on that. Um, it just, we shouldn't use our government to try and beat up another country. Again, reciprocal tariffs to me are fine, uh, but we shouldn't use our government agencies. And certainly, the National Kitchen and Bath Association should never be involved in this, ever. I know one where they lost, they lost big. Big cabins, booth, big, big everything because they put their foot in it too early. They didn't wait for the final results. That just shouldn't be involved. Competition around the world is competition around the world. Do you remember the Italians in the 90s, in the 2000s? Keith Wood used to call it the unis and the onis. And he was an Italian. He did a lot of consulting with Italian companies. And, you know, good, good guy. Anyway, remember them. And they would come into America going, oh, yeah, we're going to teach you how to sell cabinets in America. Well, how do you think that other than price and lower quality, Americans buy differently. Chinese buy differently. Their cultures are so different. When the Italians were coming in telling uh, us Americans how uh, our product is wonderful and this is how you sell kitchens in America, they were trying to duplicate the way they did it in Italy. Well, Europeans buy kitchens differently. Treat your dealer right. Read Jim English's book about the big orange culture. You know, customers are at the top of the pyramid. Uh, the pyramid. Customers, dealers, etc. You're at the bottom. CEOs, you're the bottom of the pyramid, right? So it, stop whining. Let's go out there, make a better product. If we don't make a better product, let's service our customers better and build a better mousetrap, if you will, because it, it, it's not all about products. You know that if you've listened to any of my videos, you know that. It's about the end customer and how you Create an environment where they love doing business with you. And they love, absolutely love your services. And they picked your product because it fit a particular price point that they were trying to hit. If you put product at the top of your pyramid, you're losing already. So I'm um, going to have some presentations and some trainings I'm going to start off doing it on a weekly basis, and I'm going to have guests. Um, I'm, I'm contacting this week some really high-end designers that don't give away their services, and I want to have them on. And So look for that. And again, if anybody wants to message me on LinkedIn regarding this, you know, feel free. Kitchen sales coach. So I don't want to make this video so long that no one listens to it. So competition. Go out there. Don't worry about it. Just build a better mousetrap and you'll win.
every time. God bless and have a great day. Let me see, turn this.